All right, so previously we covered the nodes label customization. In this video, we're going to be going through the coloring options for the nodes within the network. So as always, within a sample report, you already have your pre-configured variation of the chart that you can explore. As for us, we're going to go into the training view and actually build the chart from scratch and go through the settings one by one. So first, let's add an instance of the network visual. Let's quickly also disable the background and the title, and let's go for the setup, where we're going to choose region and country in the nodes bucket, and then afterwards use total sales in the measure. Now, first thing that you can change here, or how you can actually impact the color, is going to be under nodes default category. You can do this by adjusting the color mode. So here, you can choose auto, fixed, or dynamic. Auto automatically assigns a color for each individual column that you have added to the nodes bucket. Fixed allows you to choose one particular color for every single node that is within the network. The third option is dynamic. When you first look at it, it doesn't really differ any way from the auto. The reason for that is because dynamic colors the nodes based on the data that you have in the nodes color field. So for that, let's go back to the fields list and let's add color to the nodes color field. There we go. And you can see the new colors are automatically assigned. Now, the second way on how you can actually style these things is going to be through the categories itself. So for example, if I remove the color field and I go back to the formatting options, right here we have two categories. And what this allows you to do is to enable category-based customization. Once you do that, you can effectively, for example, color different categories by different modes. So what I'm going to do here is going to, for the first category, I'm going to choose the color mode to actually be fixed, and I'm going to manually change the color to, let's say, the purple one. And you can see it doesn't touch the nodes that are on the second level. That's because that's a different category. So one option is going through the default category that allows you to customize all the nodes at the same time, or go through the category approach where you can specifically define how each category is going to look like. The third option is not really about the coloring itself, but more as of adding visual effects on the colors. So that is going to be fill color settings. By default, we're using solid fills, so there are no effects being added. The two additional options that you have here are gradients to a derived color or gradients to a single color. If you choose gradient to a derived color, you have your slice auto opacity, so you can define how bright the color is going to be going outwards. You can also define the starting location for the gradient, and then you can play around with the lightness, hue, and saturation to get different results. So for example, if I switch around the hue, let's say to, for example, something like 90%, saturation to 40, you can see it gets a different result as it was before. So playing around these allows you to get the one at result. Now, the third option that I mentioned was gradient to a single color. The difference between the two are that for the color, you have an option of choosing just a single color and then only playing around with the opacity and location. Whereas for the gradient to a derived color, you were working with the saturation, light, and hue. So that's going to be it for the node coloring options, and I'll see you in the next video.